building blocks of language it is about sentences do you know that grammar is majority about the sentence only so a sentence is basically made up of two units that is subject and predicate the subject means the person or thing that we want to talk about and predicate means what we say or what we want to talk about him or her the verb is placed always in the predicate side of the sentence like for example we have the boys are playing cricket so the boys is the subject are playing is the verb and cricket is the predicate similarly little girls are playing in the garden so we can have so many examples now we shall discuss the phrases the phrases are a group of words which make sense but they do not make the complete sense how is it possible let us see the examples are into the house at 9 o'clock for 80 pence in the morning under the table now all these are just a group of words that are instructing you to do something basically but you do not actually know what to do so that was the phrase phrases are different from the sentences reason being the phrases are not having any kind of verb whereas the sentences always have a verb the phrases can be converted into a sentence by adding verb but a sentence cannot be converted into a phrase now we shall discuss the clause the clause is like this example that this is the house where we live so where we live is a clause here because this clause is a group of words it has a verb it's not a phrase because it is having a verb also it is having a subject also and it is having a predicate also right where was actually defining the things v was the subject here so now we are discussing the different types of sentences the simple compound and complex sentences a sentence is a group of words which make a complete sense the sentences can be of three types as i told you it could be a simple sentence it could be a compound sentence or it could be a complex sentence now what is a simple sentence a simple sentence has one independent clause and no subordinate clauses at all for example we can have old growth forest in the united states are disappearing now there is one independent clause here and no subordinate clauses at all the other example is citizens must act so here in the two sentences if we want to join them together we can join them also by using the subordinating uh, these conjunctions so that will be helping us to form another type of sentence a compound sentence a compound sentence has two or more independent clauses joined by coordinating conjunctions but this also has no subordinating clause for example the same one old growth forest in the united states are disappearing and citizens must act so these are the two independent clauses here which have been joined together by a conjunction and similarly the next type of sentence which is a complex sentence it contains one independent clause and one or more subordinating clauses for example because old growth forests in the united states are fast disappearing citizens must act now so here the sentences are joined together it contains one independent clause that is because old growth forests in the united states are fast disappearing so here the three sentences are basically joined it is because of the old growth forests that are in the pre that are present in the united states which are disappearing this is the reason that the citizens must be acting now so this is the example of a complex sentence 